Hey guys, in this video, I'll be explaining to you how to get more FPS in Minecraft 1.21 on Minecraft Java Edition with my mod pack on monitoring fabulously smooth. Now to get this mod pack, you guys are going to have to go to the first link in the description and download the monitoring launcher if you haven't already. And then go to the second link in the description and join my Discord server to download the mod pack inside the resources channel. Now, before we launch this thing and see how much FPS we get, we need to first benchmark it on basic Minecraft. So let's launch this. So as we can see guys, Minecraft default on my computer at least is pretty laggy. Alright, so look, now that everything's rendered in, we have a steady 100 FPS kind of, as you can see from the top left corner. Uh, Alright, it's getting better, it's getting better. So if we're running around and stuff, if we were inside a heavy survival world, we'd probably have like 100 FPS. Alright, now let's hop off this default on Minecraft, and let's hop on to Fabulously Smooth. Alright, so once you guys have downloaded Modern Launcher, if you haven't already, and then download my mod pack from my resources channel and my Discord server, it will, once you click it, once you open that file, it will automatically go into the instances and be a playable instance here. Now once it's there, uh, click play. Alright guys, so now we are on the Fabulously Smooth mod pack, and as you can see we just loaded into the world. And things are already looking much better. Steady 60 FPS, steady 100 FPS. And while testing earlier, I saw that we had a thousand FPS peaks, which may happen again here. I'm not sure. Let's try moving around some. Let's load in some. Also, this mod pack is just a bare bones optimization mod pack. It also comes with zoom feature, which you can also scroll with and zoom farther if you want. Um. It also has this HUD with the FPS in the top left corner and the time for your computer that your time zone is in the bottom right corner. Also, if I was to have armor on, I would have an HUD somewhere on my screen and you can choose the location you want as well. Also, there's shulker box tooltip, so if you're uh, you shulker box in your inventory in a chest or an e chest or something. You can hover over them and click shift and you can see the contents inside of them. So that's very useful in my opinion. There's also 3D skin layers. As you can see on my skin, it's more three-dimensional. Not uh no air pockets. We have 500 to 700 FPS right now. It's pretty good. If we were running around, we we'll probably get a steady well it wasn't like begging. If we're running around we get a steady 200 plus FPS. So that is about a times two or times three increase, so that's pretty good. Now, the added bonus with this guy, is besides all the quality of the features already mentioned, is the fact that you can press K and you get your shaders turned on. Now, of course, it's going to bring down your FPS a lot, so if you have a very low-end PC, you're not going to want to use shaders at all. But if you have a better computer, then you should be able to run shaders fine with low render distance. Now, if you guys press K with my mod pack installed and it did not turn on your shaders, then that's, that's because you go to options, video settings, and then shader packs, and then select the one you want and select apply. I have three shader packs already added. If you guys want to add other ones, you can, but uh, three come with a pack already. If you guys want your own Minecraft server, then use my code CLEP35, all caps, on rockandode.com. They host very reliable, fast, affordable plans for Minecraft servers, and even other game servers as well. So use code CLEP35 on rockandode.com. Subscribe.